Yeah. What is good, John? Welcome back to yet again another episode of JI Productions. It's your boy JI, and I'm back at it again with another banker video. As you guys can tell, we are in the JI HQ right now. I'm finna go ahead and pop the garage, get a cold start on this joint. I actually haven't started this joint in a nice little minute, so this startup should be something. Something serious. So like I say, I haven't started this car in a fat minute. So this cold start is about to be interesting. enough to operation temps I'm a killer but yeah man um so no unfortunately I have not had baby J.I. invader yet I know it's sad do I want to invade her hell yeah is it time no uh next question are you going to cam the Camaro in the future if so whose cam would you use so this is a great question solely because of the simple fact that if you guys have been around the channel for a minute you guys already know i was planning to cam this car literally for my birthday this year last uh last month actually in february however if you guys don't know or you guys are new to the channel i did recently just switch tuners this car is now tuned by rk speed 
And let me tell you, that boy RK knows exactly what he's doing when it comes to the LTLS platform. 100%. He's got cars that are running like crazy. He's literally the reason why the stock wheels are sitting over there and the drag pack is on the car. Because I cannot hook at all, at all in this car with those tires on. So, anyway, um, yes, we did recently just switch tuners. So that being said, the plan is still what the plan was from the very, very jump, from the very, very start. Get this car 100% dialed in with the full, full Boton setup and then slap a cam in there and make this thing make some crazy, crazy steam. Now, with that being said, y'all, we are working on dialing this car in to be 100%. And then I will be throwing a port of heads cam set up on this car now as far as the cam whose cam i'll be going with to answer that i do have a texas speed cam sitting underneath the toolbox right now a stage three texas speed cam um i'm currently not gonna be running it just because of the simple fact that we are trying to get this car dialed in as it sits before we change anything so there's that and then also I don't think that I'm going to be using this cam just because RK actually makes a custom grind cam. And I can't lie, that thing sounds freaking phenomenal, bro. So I may or may not be going with his cam. If I don't go with his cam, the goal is still to go BTR. I just love the chop that BTR cams give. No matter what stage you get, custom grind, stage one, stage two, stage three, stage four, your car is going to chop like crazy. So... That being said, and they make good power. BTR is for sure like my top runner-up cam to run on this car. If anything, it'll be RK's cam just because he's tuning the car. He builds these cars every single day and has these cars running like a bat out of hell. So that being said, we're going to go to RK way. All right, next question. This is hilarious. When are you and LS3 Raven going to line it up? Your other Corvette friends are slow. Okay, so check me out, homie. Okay, first and foremost, this dude, <laughs> this dude has a boosted C6 vet versus my clearly NA 6 Gen 1 LE. Um, bro wants to line it up, but like, I don't think he's serious about lining it up. Now, me personally, y'all already know how I get down. I don't care win or loss. I'm going to take the, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to take the content and we're going to make it for you. But that being said, I'm not sure if bro's being serious or if he's joking. If he's serious, though, he knows where my DMs are. He can definitely get in there and we can set something up for the track and handle that business. But other than that, brother, I don't know what to tell you. Um, <laughs> so next question. Why did you go LT2 intake manifold instead of MSD? I get this question all the time, bro. I get this question all the time. Now, I'm gonna keep it a buck with y'all, man. When I first got my car and I first started going full Botons, there was a couple like discrepancies when it came to the MSD, the LT2, and the LT1. Everybody was saying, oh, LT2 ported way to make more power than the LT1 ported, and LT2 ported makes the same power that the MSD port it makes so why would you go msd when you could just go lt2 and slap the c8 engine cover on it and be different and so that's exactly what i did um i literally was on the fence between the lt2 and the msd and everybody was saying at the time like i just said lt2 msd same thing so i just personally like the look of the c8 engine cover versus the look of the msd Th that's just me so that's literally why I went with this. I do want to get the carbon fiber C8 engine cover so that it'll, you feel me? But I don't know yet because I actually might be swapping manifolds. The only other manifold that I would throw on this car would be a Holly High Ram. Now, one of you guys actually got in my DMs and told me that I'd be able to make the Holly High Ram work with my... Anderson Composites Z01 style carbon fiber hood as long as I kept the factory holly lid on the high ram it should clear now I don't know how much of that is true he did send me 
pictures. I can't lie, he was clearing that joint with the stock hood latch and all, but I don't know. So if the time comes to where, if RK feels like it's time to go Holly because we're leaving too much power on the table with this setup, then we'll go Holly and we'll push our look and see if it'll clear the hood. If not, then we'll sell the hood and get the compo hood and then it'll clear that for sure. Um, so that's why I went C8 intake manifold over the rest and what intake manifold I'd be getting if I was to change from the LT2. Now, next question. Oh man, this question right here is about these joints right here, bro. Where did you get your white LED side markers? Oh my God, this question I get no matter where I go, legit. No matter what show I'm at, no matter if I'm at the gas station, in the parking lot, driving on the road, like, y'all see, and I mean, it makes sense as to why y'all ask, because it's like having four flashlights on the side of your car. It's like having four spotlights on the side of your car. So for everybody who is wondering, I got my white LED side markers from Amazon, bro. I got these joints from Amazon. I bought these when I bought the car. So like two years ago off of Amazon and they have been out of stock ever since. No, I'm not gatekeeping. No, I'm not being a hoe. No, I'm not being an asshole and hiding where I got them from from y'all. They're just out of stock so I can't send a link. Literally when I go to my Amazon and I go to my order history and I try to buy them again, it sends me to things that are similar to them because they're out of stock. So, I'm sorry, I can't tell you the exact link to where I got them. I can just tell you I got them on Amazon and you can do with that knowledge what you must. <laughs> like, I, I, I'm, just, I'm just keeping it a buck, bro. Like, I'm just keeping it a buck. Okay, so next question. What all have you done to the Camaro? Oh, this is a good question. Um, I actually get this question a lot too. I've made a couple videos going over the mods list, but we can do a quick rundown for you guys while y'all are here right now. So since the hood is already popped, I guess we're starting the engine bay. We'll work our way back. So we have the ported LT2 intake manifold and ported LT1 stock throttle body. We have the Rotofab dry filter kit. We have the JLT oil catch can. We have the Inch and 7A Speed Engineering Catalyst Long Tube Headers. We have the MSD Spark Plug Wires. We have the Chevy OEM Flex Fuel Kit Source Through Wild Hammer Motorsports. And that is all for the engine bay. Moving out of the engine bay to the front end of the car, we have the Drake Muscle Dive Planes up front. We have the ZL1 add-ons tow hook which actually doubles back as a front license plate frame holder closing the hood we got that carbon fiber zl1 style anderson composites hood then coming down the side like i told you guys we have the amazon white led side markers uh, we have the amazon black and red one le we have the zl1 add-ons front and rear mud guards then we have the EOS ZL1 style side skirts in carbon fiber. We have the EOS carbon fiber mirror covers. We have the carbon add-ons, carbon fiber door handles, carbon add-ons, carbon fiber antenna. Moving to the rear of the car, we are on a Weld S71 drag pack with a Mickey Thompson ET Street R wrapped around that joint. And these joints have been powder coated in satin black to match the 1LE theme. Moving on to the rear, we do have some ZL1 add-ons diffuser spurts. And these are the mud guards that I was telling y'all about in the rear. And then coming to the rear, we have the Anderson Composite Spoiler Integrated Trunk. We have the AWE Track Actual Back Exhaust. Shout out to AWE. We have the blacked out reflectors from Wild Hammer Motorsports. Shout out to Wild Hammer Motorsports. We have the sequential, the sequence, sequential third brake light. Shout out to sequence. And then popping the door open. All the carbon fiber your body could ever need. 
is covered in this interior. So we've got the carbon fiber dash, we've got the carbon fiber steering wheel, we've got the carbon fiber knee pads, the carbon fiber transmission cover, we've got the carbon fiber or well, the carbon fiber gear shifter cover, we've got the gear shifter itself in carbon, the AC vents, the radio, the dashboard, the passenger door handles, the door, <laughs> the driver's door handles, the door. <laughs> Oh, and then as I showed you guys before, we got 1,500 starlights in this joint. Through and through, that's everything that's done to this car. Literally, a quick little rundown of all the mods I've been able to put on this car over the course of two years. Nothing too crazy. It's really a simple Boton setup on E85, and the thing just works. It just works. Shout out to my boy RK. He's got this thing moving. Like, there's nothing else that I could say. There's nothing else that I could say. Literally, nothing else that I could say. Okay, next question. We got, like, three more questions. Okay, what color would you wrap your car if you were to wrap your car? Damn. Okay, y'all. So, this is low-key a little bit of a harder question for me. Solely because there's actually two colors that I'm torn on. And one of them, well, I can't do anymore because everybody in the city is doing it. But it's like a candy red, almost like the same colorway that the one LEs are coming out with, um, with Chevy through 2020 and up. Um, and then there's the Nardo Gray. You guys already know how I feel about Nardo, Nardo Gray. I did Nardo Gray on Hazel, except it wasn't a wrap, it was paint. However, it's just like, man, I've already done it once and now it's kind of played out. When I did it on the fifth gen, I was the first in the city to have an auto gray fifth gen. And that actually like resonated with me and like, you know what I'm saying? Meant something to me. So like now there's a couple six gens in the city that are not all gray. There's a couple six gens across the internet that are not all gray. So like mine wouldn't really stand out like that for real. So I don't know, man. Honestly, that's why the car is still black right now because I haven't been able to 100% decide what color I'm gonna wrap it. Okay, next question. What wheels would you put on the car if you had to change it up? Honestly, bro, I'm gonna keep it a buck. Y'all already know we got the welds in the rear. I definitely want some F71s for the front skinny. Um, and that would probably be like the wheel setup that I'd get next for real is the front skiddies to complete the drag pack. Now, as far as like a dream wheel setup or um, like a show car setup, they are, there are some ESR wheels that have been calling my name ever since I got my second Camaro. They come in like this brushed aluminum polished finish and it just looks so good. Like I don't even, I can't even start to explain it to y'all. Like. It looks amazing. I'm gonna go ahead and put the face of the wheel on the screen right now. And y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments below because I'm actually thinking about getting those and having them be like my Navasota slash stock daily wheel setup. Just put like a fat chunky tire in the rear and then even running a fat chunky tire up front. That way this thing would be able to grip when I needed to take those turns and then also be able to grip when I needed to go straight just in case a little five point slow pulls up next to me and wants some snow. Um, let's go ahead and move to the next question. There's not too many wheels that I would put on this car. Also the Z28 wheels, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Z28 wheels are always gonna have a special place in my heart just like the six gen one LE wheels. Y'all already know how I feel about these. I actually went out and bought a pair of the replicas before I even had the one LE. Those are the candy red joints that y'all be seeing like me posting on Instagram and stuff like that. Um, I bought those that came gloss black, straight from MRR wheels, and then I had them custom painted candy apple red. I low key missed those wheels, but it is what it is. <sighs> Woo, that's a lot of talking, man. We got a lot of questions. I really don't think I'm gonna be able to get to all the questions, but damn, we got a lot of questions. We got a lot of questions. Okay, I think I'm gonna answer this one and then I'm just gonna call it a day. Okay, so does E85 actually make a difference? Do you feel like it's worth it? I'm gonna be honest, bro. I'm gonna be honest. This is a great question. This is damn, y'all, y'all, 
Y'all coming through with these questions, gang. No bat, but this is definitely a great question, man. I'm going to be honest. As far as the LT1 platform goes, is E85 worth it? NA, if you're talking horsepower numbers, bro, I don't think so. But if we're talking like the feel type, it definitely is. Because at the end of the day, this car on E85 has a crazy top end that it never had before. Even on 93, now with the new tune, the 93 definitely has a top end that's crazy. But the E85 is for sure a difference. Like a, a very, very obvious difference. I can't lie to y'all. So do I feel like it's worth it? That question, I feel like you've got to go a little bit deeper and elaborate a little bit more with it. Do I feel like it's worth it? Yes and no. At the end of the day, it all depends on what you're using the E85 for. If you're using it to run faster, I would say yes. It's more beneficial, however, when you're boosted. But NA, you're still going to see a difference in numbers. Probably about 20 to 25 horsepower gain from your 93 tune. Um, but... Is it is it worth like you know what I'm saying like is that like the the mod that I would say would make or break your car from the next man? I don't know, man. I feel like that's a question for your tuner at the end of the day because your tuner is the one that's going through on the computer and telling the car to react however it is reacting to the E85. So at the end of the day, if your tuner can make that joint dry like a bat out of hell off that E85, then go E85. But if your tuner makes that joint drive like a bat out of hell off 93 or E85, well then shit, you got a good ass tuner. You, you sound like you living like me right now. <laughs> but other than that, you know what I'm saying? I would say, yeah, go E85. At the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? It burns a lot faster. It is a little bit cheaper, but it is going to burn a lot faster. So you just got to be ready for that. If you are, then you go then. If you're not, well then, shucks. I don't know what to tell you, dog. But yes, sir, man, without further ado, that is actually gonna wrap it up for today's video. This video got way longer than I thought it was gonna be, and we still got a lot of questions to answer. Um, so with that being said, I will be personally DMing everybody whose questions were not answered in this video and i may even do a part two video if that's something that you guys want to see y'all let me know in the comment section down below and i will gladly make that content for y'all now as y'all know man with this youtube stuff this youtube space this youtube life you know what i'm saying at the end of the day content creators we are making these content for y'all we're making these videos for y'all so Whatever it is that you want to see on the channel, bro, drop a comment and let me know. I will gladly record that video for you if it's feasible. You know what I'm saying? If I can do it, like, it's it's not like I got to go jump out of an airplane with my car. Then, yeah, bro, like, I'll do it. But if it's some crazy stuff, then, you know, y'all going to have to give me time on it. Because once the channel continues to grow, then the content can get crazier and crazier and crazier and crazier. But we got to grow as a unit first. So that being said, y'all jump in the comments, man. Let me know what you guys want to see on the channel. I'm asking y'all because y'all are the viewers, bro. Like, yes, I'm the content creator. Yes, I'm the one that comes up with the ideas. Yes, I'm the one who owns the car. Yes, I'm the one who builds the car and makes the content. It is the content and all of that. But at the end of the day, you guys are the audience. I'm making it for y'all. So if y'all want to tell me what you want to see, it would definitely help both of us out because you're not getting videos where it's just like, damn, why am I watching this? Let me click off. You're getting videos that are A, informative, B, entertaining, and C, hilarious. I mean, come on now. Like, how could you complain? But like I say, that's going to wrap it up for today's video. So let me know in the comment section down below. Part two, or should I just go ahead and individually DM each and every one of the people who drop the dm man y'all let me know man um so as y'all can see it's raining right now i haven't driven my car in like a week and a half um i don't know welds six gen one le camaro on welds versus the rain
I don't know. We may, we may, we may gotta make that video happen. We may gotta make that video happen. That being said, y'all, I'm gonna go ahead and roll that outro right now. And I'm gonna see you guys in the next one. Peace.